Well, St. Bernard Parish leaders say it is still not safe to return vehicles and trailers to the Wyklosky and Delacro areas. Now, there is still quite a bit of water there that washed ashore with the tropical storm Cristobal. Paul Murphy reports people in the lower end of the parish are amazed at how quickly and high the water rose with a minimal tropical storm. Monday, crews cut a hole in a levee in the Delacro area to let out water that was pushed over the levee by Cristobal. It is expected to take a few more days for the flooding to subside in Lower St. Bernard. Parish President Guy McGinnis says he has never seen water flow in this fast during a tropical storm. It, it seems like it's getting quicker and quicker as that water comes in because of the degradation um, of our marsh and our wetlands. Louisiana depends on coastal wetlands and barrier islands to help knock down the intensity of storm surge. This is the reason why we've got to protect our coast because this culture is going to disappear. Brad Robin and his son Brad Jr. are the fifth and sixth generation in their family seafood business, one of the largest in St. Bernard. They say looking at the four to six foot storm surge from Cristobal does not bode well for the future of their industry or the fishing communities in the lower end of the parish. We're sinking. The marsh is sinking. We have no protection out there. The change from when I was a kid to now is unbelievable. You know, it would take at least a category one or two storm to do what we have right now. McGinnis says as the coastline goes, so does South Louisiana. We don't want to be launching a boat out of Baton Rouge here in about 50 years. People in Lower St. Bernard are realists and many of them fear that one day we may very well lose the battle to save the Louisiana coastline. But they say it doesn't have to be tomorrow. If we don't do something now, where you see today, maybe 10, 15 years, won't be here. St. Bernard leaders are now pushing for a dedicated source of revenue to help build back the state's vanishing coastline. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.